Hi guys, welcome back to The Native Family. I finally have my once a month grocery haul from Aldi for you guys. I was in a funk, didn't feel like doing all my grocery shopping in one day. So this has been about a week since I've done my grocery outlet haul and my Smart and Final haul. Finally went in and I spent $110 and I'm really not happy with the amount of stuff that I got. But inflation is happening, so I'm going to have to get used to adjusting my pocketbook for the price of groceries. So with that being said, let's get started and I will share you share you share with you some of the things that i picked up this is one of my favorite tortilla chips from aldi it is the pueblo lindo um, brand it's 239 for these it makes awesome dip chips for homemade salsa which we're going to be making a huge batch of that here pretty soon tortillas i usually make tortillas but i'm just not in the mood to do it these were 215 they went up to 219 and you get 24 of them these are now two dollars and nine cents for the fit and active low carb tortillas so I picked up three of those. They used to be $1.99, but like I said, prices are going up a little bit. They're creeping. And then the Romero uh, burrito size extra large tortillas used to be $2.65, and now they're $2.89. I picked up three dozen of eggs. I need to hard boil one dozen and put the other two away. These are still a good price in my area. They are $0.98 cents each, so I can't beat that. have tons of pasta salad on the menu because it's warming up and it's just nice to have a nice pasta salad in the fridge ready for everybody to have. So I picked up the tricolor rotini. This one is uh, 75 cents. 175 for some oil for some baking. This was new and I was kind of excited to see it because I usually use their um, their version of the uh, Olive Garden dressing, the Italian dressing to do my pasta salads, but I saw this and they also had a potato salad version of it, but I opted just to try this one for now. It's the Tuscan Garden potato salad dressing. It just sounded really good and it was $1.99. I'm moving all right along. I picked up some of the Happy Farms Chive and Onion Cream Cheese for $1.49. We like to use these for wraps and I did pick up a bag of bagels for that. Two cans of tomato paste for a recipe and these are $0.39 cents each. I picked up a huge thing of pickles at Smart and Final thinking everybody was going to love them and they're too sour for everyone but me so I have a lot of pickles to eat. <laughs> so I just picked up the Kosher Spears and that's by the Great Gherkins, I'm assuming that's just Aldi's brand. $1.35 for Aldi's version of Kraft Singles. The kids like this for grilled cheese. Now this is a repurchase. I absolutely love this and I highly recommend it. If you're going to be doing any kind of chicken tacos, and you can even do this with just some bell peppers and onions, and it would come out fire. I t I'm telling you, they're 69 cents each. I like to take bell peppers, onions, and chickens and do a, like a fajita style, but I absolutely love these. And I know they're seasonal, and these were the last three in the store, so kind of wish there was more. Rhiannon's birthday month is here. She's going to be turning 18 on the 22nd, so I just picked up the birthday cake cream filled cookies. They're like the Oreos, I guess. They're like $1.95. This was something I only found one of in the store, guys. I was asking the employees if they knew if there was any more, and this was the last one. But it's the Frozen Bean Frappe Blends Java Chip. You could either have it hot or, or blended. I would absolutely blend this, but it sounds so good. This is one of my favorite drinks to make at home, even, and buy at uh, Starbucks. So, two cans of the diced tomatoes for some upcoming recipes, and those are 44 cents. This was another new item that I opted to pick up. It's the Stone Mill Original Dry Rub Seasoning, sweet and savory. And it's pretty much showing that you could put it on, you know, cow, pigs, and chicken, pork, beef, you know, all that good stuff. So for $3.99, and that's a lot of seasoning. Needed some parm just for some quick uh, Alfredo that we were gonna be making here pretty quick, and that's $2.49 for that. They had um, pre-made macaroni salad. We are going to be grilling tonight and I did not get home in time to make homemade macaroni salad. So for $2.99, I picked it up. It's two pounds. I've never had it before, so I'm hoping that it's good and everybody likes it. Two pounds of the Mexican style cheese because I have flautas, quesadillas, street tacos, and enchiladas on the meal plan. So for $6.29, I picked that up. Just a thing of almond milk so everybody can have their cereal and that's $1.95. I changed up... Um, yogurts the greek yogurt was uh, kind of messing with the kids belly so i just opted to get the vanilla light yogurt for 169 and then for the pasta salads i did pick up the fresh mozzarella balls to have and these are 329 a single can of black beans for our southwestern egg rolls that we were going to make and those are 44 cents still I did get a thing of the premium ham. The kids love this ham and it's $2.69. And the honey ham was really hard to find for a little while. I was only able to find, I think, what was it? The Black Forest ham 
and the smoked turkey, but I finally was able to pick one of those up. We are going to be doing shrimp foil packets, and everybody likes the beef sausage in it, and this is $2.39 for that. This was a unicorn. I have been looking for this forever at Aldi. I see everybody picking it up. My store never had it, but it's kind of spendy. It was like $5.99, and you only get like a pound and a half, but it's supposed to be really close to Chick-fil-A. I personally don't like Chick-fil-A sandwiches, but my kids do. So I grabbed that thing of bacon, $3.29. That's the cheapest bacon they have there, and it does all right. Now you're going to notice I did not buy a lot of meat. The reason why I didn't buy a lot of meat this time is because last month when I bought all of the boneless, skinless chicken thighs, I had marinated it, put it in the freeze, the freeze into the freezer, and when I pulled it out to cook it, uh, it was rancid. So I had to throw away all of that chicken, and that's a very expensive lesson to have to learn. So. If I'm not going to be preparing it that day, I probably will not be buying meat from Aldi until I kind of get over my little rant that I'm having because of that. But we are grilling today, and this was an amazing deal. This is the Tyson All Natural Chicken Leg Quarters. It's 10 pounds, and it was only $5.49. Now, before, I would have picked up a couple of them and put them in the freezer because it is grilling season, but it just kind of, I don't know, left a bad taste in my mouth, literally. So it's going to be a minute before I buy a lot of meat from Aldi. They had 69 cent coleslaw. That's going to go with dinner tonight. A 10 pound bag of potatoes for $2.69. A bag of spinach because we put it in everything and that's $1.19. Guys, the most expensive grapes I've ever bought. <laughs> no, probably not. I used to buy the ones that were long and skinny and black. I forgot what they were called, but they were pretty expensive too. But eight bucks for two pounds of grapes. But these were the only grapes in the store and the kids have been requesting them. A bag of green apples, these were $2.89, and a two pound bag of carrots was 65 cents. Those are on ad this week. Thing of everything bagels, because those make the best breakfast sandwiches, and those are $1.49. Now this is another thing I feel like the prices kind of went up on it. You have to let me know in the comments down below if this is a little high, but these were $2.99, and I just had a feeling they used to be cheaper. And I don't feel like making my own dough this time, so I just picked up the three pack of mini thin crusts and it comes with three sauces $2.99 for that $2.15 I think it's $2.15 for the pepperoni and then this here is the stone oven baked artisan flatbread we love this for pizza and it was $2.99 I did pick up a watermelon it was $3.99 I believe I'm hoping that it's good because that's one of my favorite summer fruits I got a pineapple for $0.98 cents. three mangoes and these were $0.39 cents each and they got a little while on them before I can cut them up. I'm hoping in the next two days because I'm going to be making the kids a giant fruit salad the way they eat it. And I will try to film it to share it with you guys. And I picked up the tahini to go with all of the fruit because this is what my kids love on their fruit with a little bit of lime juice. So this is my haul. This is what I spent 110 bucks on. I really... I don't know, it's still kind of hurting my feelings. So if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit a notification bell to be notified of when we upload new videos. And as always, family, don't forget to be kind, inspire, be inspired, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye, guys.